Right everyone, welcome back here. I thought I'd do a new tag series video on um, one-off weapons, like uh, homemade or custom-made, handmade weapons. Weapons that are one-offs, you know, you don't necessarily have to have made them yourself, but you could have made them yourself or, or someone else could. I'm going to show you all my sort of handmade, homemade weapons. They're not necessarily made by me. I have made some of these, there, but I'm just saying they're not all made by me. Uh, yeah, so what I'll do, I'll probably show you everything I'm going to show you. You know, like, as an overview, and then describe some of them in detail afterwards. And I'll show you now. Right, so that was an overview of some of the stuff I own. Right, I'll show you some of it now. So we've got some of these, uh, this is a handmade bear claw. Not all of these things are 100% handmade. The blade wasn't made, but the handle was made. But this wasn't a bear claw knife originally, so it is handmade. A two finger butterfly knife knuckle duster. With a little skull crusher bit at the bottom, and you can open it. Sort of prototype. You then got handmade knuckle dusters. This is that's the left-handed one. These are a pair. One says hate, one says love. A uh, little sort of prototype push dagger, sort of one finger knuckle duster thing there. And a sort of karambit style knife there. And then lower down here I've got my, I made this, my uh, carbine crossbow. Try and go in order so I can remember what I've shown. Um, rifle crossbow that I made. The bow that Malcolm made me. This is a forty-five pound hazel bow. That was handmade by Malcolm. He's just a takedown one he made for me. This is a U takedown bow. Knuckle duster short sword, trench sword. Push dagger. Or punch knife, whatever you want to call it. Solid brass knuckle duster. Waste a ton that does. My uh, Tanto knives, survival Tanto knife. Designed by myself. Lead weighted truncheons, or uh, if you want to have a legal version, you call it a tyre thumper for uh, testing your tyres. That's what the old Americans call them. I don't, that's not really a common thing in this country, I don't think. Yeah, lead weighted truncheon there. Tactical meat cleaver. I 
did some fire work on the back there, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, tactical meat cleaver. Some uh, throwing stars. This is a sort of prototype, sort of punching tool, but is um, designed to be something you can carry. I don't know whether it would actually work. And it is actually a screwdriver and a bottle opener, but you can hold it in your hand like that, use it as a weapon. But it's actually a screwdriver and a bottle opener, and it's got a key ring attachment and all that. Two other different kinds of knuckle duster or brass knuckles. Got a wooden one here, wall, made of walnut, and a V for Vendetta knuckle duster. Oh, my large lead weighted truncheon. This weighs a ton, this does. Be very, very effective weapon, this would if you needed it. Little lanyard on there, keep it attached to your hand. Got a hell of a lot of lead in that, the lead's about that long and about as thick as my thumb inside there, comes down to about there. Hell of a lot of lead in there. Uh, cursed voodoo skull necklace knuckle duster. Made to be used, one finger like that. Uh, pistol crossbow without the prod on it at the minute. Survival crossbow without the paracord on it. Normally has a paracord grip on it. Two finger uh, trigger there. Make it easy to shoot. And lastly, oh no, I've got two more things to shout. I nearly forgot the bloody best thing. One of the best things. My uh, wrist or arm crossbow. Just pull your hand down and it shoots. That. Nearly forgot that. And then lastly, out of all the stuff I've got, I have definitely got more stuff than this, but this is all I could find at the minute. I may do a second video one day. The In Case of Zombies case, the In Case of Zombies weapon. That's the actual weapons on there. You can see them with the skull emblem, zombie killer, and the two weapons of those things on there. Contents, one zombie killer, one special machete. Need help, cool. I made this case. And then those two items are... Knuckle Duster Machete. It's got a skull crusher. And a large machete blade. And the other weapon is the zombie killer. See it there? Zombie killer. So this is lead weighted as well. It's got a big lump of lead inside. It's got the spikes there. Yeah, and that is the zombie killer. And those are the uh, in case of in case of zombies weapons, the zombie killers. Yeah, so that is my homemade, handmade, custom one-off weapons. Uh, you won't find any of these, you know, any others of these. So, I would like to tag, I want to tag about four or five people. I want to tag, we all juggle knives, Sensei is real. I want to see his weapons like this. Wampire, I'd like to see Wampire's weapons. I'd like to see 
touch with those weapons, I know he's got a lot of handmade weapons. Well, I'll tell you what, if you want to do your own version of it, if you've got enough homemade weapons yourself, homemade or handmade or custom one-off weapons yourself, uh, you're tagged as well. Any, anyone else who wants to join in, feel free to join in. Make sure you do a response so I actually see it and everyone else can get to see it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just thought I'd show you some of my stuff because a lot of people like to see different kinds of weapons. Especially one-off stuff because obviously if I don't show it you're never going to see it. So, yeah, so don't forget to visit my blog. Don't forget to check out the responses when they're there. My blog will be in the link below and so should the responses and all that. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.